K7 returns. K-7 from a United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in special agent B-9 for assignment. At once, K-7. Special agent B-9 reporting for assignment. B-9, you are to leave at once for the address given on this card. You are being assigned to Major Alpha, the famous chemist. He has developed a new vapor gas to be used for defense purposes. Tests are now being conducted at an isolated spot to determine the vapor's most effective use. Somehow, this has leaked out. Within the past week, two attempts have been made on the Major's life. Your duty is to protect the Major and, if possible, to apprehend the spy. Keep me informed. Almost at the same time Agent B-9 was reporting to K-7 for duty, another was reporting to a famous international spy. And, sir, what has happened? Why are you here? We have got to work fast, Cavalier. This morning, the Major talked to Secret Agent K-7. You are sure? I heard him. He told K-7 that two attempts had been made on his life. A special agent called B-9 is on his way here. So, he has sent for help. Perhaps it will work to our advantage. But if there is someone here with him, it will be that much harder. On the contrary, my friend. This plays into our hands. What time does this agent B-9 arrive? He comes on the late afternoon train. Good, Magnin. When he arrives, you will meet him. You will tell him you have been sent by the Major. You will drive him here. I will have two men here to help you. You will hold the special agent here, and I will take his place. By tomorrow, the vapor gas formula will be mine. Late that afternoon, Agent B-9 and his assistant, Rita Drake, arrived at the small railroad station nearest Major Alpha's isolated laboratory. Let me help you down, Rita. Hey. There. long enough for us to get off behind. Well, this is a flag stop, Rita. It's probably the first time the express has let anyone off here for months. <laughs> Will we have to walk to Major Alpha's laboratory? Yes, probably. Now, wait, there's a car over there. Uh, perhaps it's for hire. The driver's coming over. Is your car for hire? Are you the gentleman Major Alpha expects? Why, yes. The Major thought that you might be on this train. He sent me to pick you up. Oh, we're, we're in luck, Rita. Very thoughtful of the Major. I expected he'd be too busy. If you would let me have your bag, please. How far is the Major's house from here? About five miles, Miss. <laughs> it's lucky we didn't have to walk. I'll uh, take the bag, driver. Get in, Rita. This is luck, B-9. 
Oh, look. There are no door handles on the insides of the doors. They were broken off, miss. The major hired me to carry a lot of heavy equipment. I'll let you out when we get there. Don't worry. Imagination, Rita. Sit back and enjoy yourself. An hour later, the spy cavalier knocked at the door of a small cottage and was admitted. Major Alpha? Yes. Who are you? Special Agency 9. I was sent by K-7. Of course. Come in, come in. I wasn't sure whether you would arrive this afternoon or tomorrow morning. K-7 thought it best for me to get here as soon as possible. Well, please, just put your bag down. We'll take care of it later. I was, I was conducting an experiment. That is why I was so long answering the door. Perhaps you will step into my laboratory with me. I should like to very much. We have heard a great deal about what you are doing here. Hmm. This is quite a place. Yes. I have worked here for many months, B-9. Wait, I will put this equipment away and then I will explain. Of course, you know what I am doing. Only what K-7 told me. Uh-huh. I understand you have developed a vapor gas that will be a powerful defense weapon in the event of war. Yes. Yes, that is true. Well, somehow that fact has leaked out. Last week, two attempts were made on my life. When I stepped outside my door, they shot at me. I was here alone, you understand, and if I had been killed, they would have been free to examine my laboratory. It is a wonder you have been safe so long, Major. Yes, but no one knew what I was doing. Now, let me show you the gas. I have several tanks here in this rack. Let's see. This is the one. Now, I'll explain to you. My gas is colorless until it combines with the air. When it is released and mixes with the air, deep, fleecy clouds are formed. From an airplane, they look very natural. A bombing plane would never suspect that the city lies beneath them. Now watch. I will release a very little. Ah. You see the little cloud that has been formed? That is very interesting. Is it all right for us to breathe it? Oh, of course, of course. My guess is harmless to men or to animals. And it does not harm plant life. Come, now I'll show you everything. Two miles from the Major's laboratory, Agent B-9 and Rita Drake were held in a darkened room. Both were tied hand and foot. It's night, B-9. I could see light through a crack in the window a little while ago. Now it's dark. Yes, we must have been here maybe four hours. I wonder what's happening. Oh, I'm mistaken. The one they called Cavalier has taken my place and gone to Major Alpha. He has my bag and my credentials. Somehow he's got to be stopped. Oh, what's the matter, B-9? Are the ropes hurting you? Yeah, they're, they're coming loose, Rita. I've been working on them. I think I get my hands free now. Oh, if I could only help you. Uh, Rita, I've done it. Now, one hand is loose. Wait, I'll get the other. It's oh. coming. Oh. Now I can untie my feet. We'll be free in a minute. But will we be able to get out of this room? We'll find a way. I think we're on the ground floor. There. Now the ropes are off. Oh, good. Now to get yours. Now, let's go. There. Oh. Do your wrists hurt? Only a little. Can you get the rope off my ankles? I think so. Yeah, it's coming. All right. I'll rub your wrist. I'm going to have a look at this window. It's boarded up. I may be able to wrench the boards off. <coughs> look, Rita. Moonlight. We'll be free in a minute. Agent B-9 and Rita arrived at the Major's laboratory. As they were both unarmed, B-9 looked in the window before attempting to enter. What he saw told him that they were not too late. I was right, Rita. The spy cavalier came here. Look, he's holding the Major at the point of a gun. Well, if we could only hear what they're saying. Perhaps we can. Put your ear close to the wall. I tell you, I do not have the formula for the vapor gas here. 
in the hands of the War Department. Then sit down at your desk and write it out. But I cannot remember. It is a very complex formula. No man could remember. I will give you just five minutes, Major Alpha. Unless we are completed writing the formula in that time, I will kill you and take samples of your vapor gas back to my country. Our chemists can analyze it. But I do not know it. I have told you. The formula was sent to the War Department many months ago. I've heard enough, Peter. We've got to save the Major. We can get the spy later. Now, here's what we'll do. I'll break this window and tell Cavalier I have him covered. He'll think the house is surrounded. He'll give the Major a chance to seize his gun. Do you understand? Yes, D-9. Drop your gun, Cavalier. If you don't, I'll shoot. Who is out there? Special Agent B-9. The house is surrounded. You're trapped. You'll never take me. Oh, run. Don't come in. Don't come in. He's sitting on the wrong gas. Special Agent B-9 reporting K-7. This Drake is with Major Alpha this morning. I believe the danger is over. The spy who threatened the Major was named Cavalier. Last night, he was cornered in the Major's laboratory. He attempted to release the tank of the vapor gas to cover his escape. Instead, he turned the valve on the wrong tank and released deadly mustard gas. He died an hour later. Two men who assisted him have been placed under arrest. The case is closed. <laughs> cities far behind the actual lines of battle will be the most terrible part of the next war, for innocent women and children will be the victims. By supplying information, spies would doom these civilians and would indirectly help cause the death of thousands. Their breed must be stamped out. Listen for my next story. This is K-7 speaking.